Hello wonderful people and welcome to my channel. I'm Henry and thank you for stopping by. So today I'm going to show you how I made this color block top. And I just have to start off with that it started pretty dramatically. So first off I sewed a color block a color block dress and color block pants and when I was almost done with the pants something happened I was just sewing and then all of a sudden my machine started making like weird noises and there started coming smoke up of it and it started smelling like it was burning and yeah and my machine was pretty much dead Hopefully it didn't catch fire though, but still. So I didn't have a sewing machine and then I called my grandma and hope and thank God for my sweet sweet grandmother because I got to borrow one of her sewing machines. So I sewed the pants and I'm not going to show you the dress or the pants in this video because I didn't film that. I just filmed the top. But the thing is, this new sewing machine is fancier than the other sewing machine I had. And I will say that it was pretty difficult to deal with in the beginning at least. Um, actually through the whole top. I had so much motivation and then I started with this machine and everything just died. Like making this top, I'm gonna be totally honest, it wasn't much fun like at all the sewing machine just kept on peeping and everything was going wrong and I can say that we weren't friends I weren't friends with the machine thankfully I sewn another dress after this so I kind of understand the machine better now and we work better together and I wouldn't say I'm friends with it yet but at least we're starting to get to know each other so yeah, that was just the dramatic, horrible start of this project. And throughout this project, just because the machine was so difficult and it just killed all the joy of making this top. Like this was a project I was super hyped about and super excited and it just didn't go well. So, and I just have to say before we start, because you're going to see how I struggle in this video, but I did a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, and a lot of mistakes throughout this. And I removed most of it from uh, uh, the final edit that I'm going to post, because if I were to post like all the mistakes I did, we would be here super long. So now that we're done with that, at the end of the video I'm gonna show you the dress and the pants too. But to start with I'm just gonna show you how I made this top. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Was it a good first try? Maybe? I don't really know. I'm happy with how it came out. It didn't come out the way I had imagined it, but it's okay. Like, I'm a beginner, so it's all a learning process. And I think I learned a lot more uh, from making this and actually struggling so hard with it. But I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I think it looks kind of cute. It doesn't look perfect and you can see that it's homemade, but whatever, um, that's fine. Yeah, but without further ado, let's just get started with the top. So first off, I cut out these two rectangles that is going to be the top. Then I iron it and fold it twice so there won't be any ugly edges. Next, I pin them together and then sew over it. This is going to be the back of the top.
Then I fold the excess fabric over to the side and then sew it down. This is so it won't be in the way and it won't be uncomfortable to wear. Then I iron and fold the edges on what's going to be the front of the top and I do this twice too. I make sure that they are folded inwards so the edges will look cleaner. Then I sew them down. Next I start with the arms, I iron it down and fold them twice too and as you can guess I also sew them down. I'm starting to notice the pattern here. Then I fold it again and pin it down. This is so that the straps that will go over the shoulder will be a little stronger and, stronger and more sturdy. And of course I sew that down too. This is what is going to be the ruffles on the arm. I iron and fold it the edges twice and sew them down. But apparently I didn't film that part, so for some reason, I don't know. Then I took out my lace and pin it down over the edges of the what is going to be the ruffles. Then I sew them down twice. Once at the very end of the fabric and then at the ends of the lace. I did this so the edges will be secured uh, and it won't come unraveled. Then it's time to do the same to the strap of the arms. And for some reason I filmed sewing the arm in the opposite color of the one I filmed pinning. Sorry I know it's confusing but apparently I didn't keep track of the colors so bear with me please. And then it's time to make the ruffles into actual ruffles. Then the time has come to attach them to the arm. I pin them down and then sew them together. Be careful while you sew this on though, so you don't have to go back and correct it later. I definitely had to do that. Now comes the part where I cut up the square of the fabric that I have here to make it look more like an actual top. The biggest mistake I did with this part was cutting it out without adding a seam allowance, even though that seems like a very basic thing to do. Then I sew it together on the sides. I tried it on and adjusted it several times before I thought it was kind of okay and moved on. Now the iron is out again. I iron and fold the edges twice and I sew them in place. next step is to attach the arm to the body and then sew it on. There is definitely a better way to do this than what I did here. I should have folded them right sides together and sewed them on but that's a little too late now and I'm not going back to fix it so. Then I'm sewing the straps of the arms to the body along the top.
When the arms are in place, I pin the lace down to the bottom and the top and sew them in place twice. And yes, the struggle is real. All that is left now is sewing on the buttons and the buttonholes. And in true fashion, I had a really hard time doing this too. <laughs> So this is the finished top that I ended up with. It looks a little wonky, but you know, it's good enough. And thank you so much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it wasn't the best thing that I ever made. But I'm pretty happy with it and how I overcame all these obstacles. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe and leave it a like and maybe I'll see you next time. Bye!